Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're going to finish our four pockets for making summer pocket files number five. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. This is from a previous video, but we have watermelon, we have a pocket, and these are all from videos that I did. Okay, ice cream, but I really don't know what I'm going to do there yet. And I have this one in the front. It's summertime. Okay. But I want to start this out of the way. I'm going to move this out of the way too so we don't get glue on, on anything. I have this little tab. I have this butterfly. It's from Dollar Tree. Jot. Pop up. Eight butterflies. You can see I will use one and then we're going to use that one. I just want to, these are die cuts. I'm going to be gluing down. Okay. Little die cuts. And I'm going to be using our glitter. And I had a thought of how I wanted them. So I'm going to get that back. And I want to welcome the new subscribers. So welcome new subscribers. And as always, I appreciate my regular subscribers. Something like that. I hope everyone is well and doing good. I am. I've been really busy. I had Kinsley, my youngest grandchild. I've been watching her and my daughter Paige because she's been going to work. Helps with her and her husband, so they need someone to watch her. And I said, of course, I'll do it. <laughs> so I've been watching her, so she's been a real treat. Treat. I'm trying to learn what she wants. She fusses, but besides that, she's amazing and makes my heart happy and entertains me and I entertain her <laughs> and she's a sweetie pie. She can't sit up all the way yet, but she's starting to hold up her head and use her arms and her legs. But you can tell when she's hungry she gets really grumpy. She gets really grumpy. Okay. She'll let you know when she's hungry. I'm gonna go this way with this. That doesn't have to zoom me in, huh? So you can see better. Kinsley is five months old. So she's just learning exploring, looking around, taking everything in. But I've been having a great time with her. Having flashbacks when my kids are that young. Today I had to go down early because Paige had to be at work, so I had to get the kids. So I, Payson, she just got on the bus. She gets on the bus earlier, so that was an issue. But because she goes to junior high, Payson, and then I had to get Taryn, Chase, and Kinsley. Here until it was time for them to go to school. Then we loaded all every all of us up in the car, and we went to school. And Chase was late, and I left early. 
but he was still late. They were doing construction. I don't know why they would do construction during school hours. I don't know why they didn't do it. it they were doing something in the roads. I don't know what they're doing. But it was a mess with all the buses and everything, and they don't go to the same school. Because Chase is in elementary school, and Taryn is in junior, in, I don't even know what it's called. She's in, she'll be going to the junior high school next year, so she's not in the elementary. She's in the other one in the middle. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, there was buses. It was a mess. They should have done all the roads when, you know, during the summer. There. <laughs> I have no idea why they didn't do it then. That's just crazy to me. Why would you do it when all the buses need to get through and all that? It was just crazy. And I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> so Chase was late because I had to take Taryn to the middle of town. Well, downtown basically. And then I had to take Chase uptown. Because the schools were totally in separate places. But they got there. He was only like four minutes late. Four minutes late. I'm just gonna put the glue on the pop up and then apply it down. Make sure we go this way. And there we go. And we got a cute little tuck. Okay. Don't need much. Here, make sure you can see what I'm doing. I zoom me in and then I forget I zoom me in, dude. Bing, so <laughs> that's not good. And that's gonna go right there. I think that's good. And Paige is calling, so I'll be right back. All right, beautiful beings. I'm going to move this over out of the way to dry. Bring this one in. And all I'm going to do this to this is put a butterfly right here. Okay. I made this pocket. It's just a bunch of fabric scrap I threw together. It's from that wreath. If you've seen the other video that I tore apart. That a lady, some lady, I don't have any idea. It must have been an old one or something. Kara found it at a yard sale or something. And she wanted all the fabric. And she was going to do something with it, but she never got around to it because <laughs> she's got four kids. So she's kind of busy. So she gave it to me. And this butterfly is from Dollar Tree. I got this a couple years back, maybe four or five. It's been a while. They all came in a pack together in different sizes, but basically like it, one was all pink with like three or four different sizes and one was all purple and one was like you know the monarch butterfly there we go and that's all I'm doing there okay so I'm gonna move that over here to dry and then I have this one these are flowers we made in a previous video and this is a pocket I made in a previous video and I'm just gonna glue them down and here's the flowers and this one I put lace around it because it looked like it needed something so I just added some lace into it okay so I'm just gonna glue them down try to keep the glue here and then I can add it where I need it later edges. I want this one down first. There. And then bring this one in. I'm trying to keep the same amount 
on the edge. There we go. Let's see if we're going to glue just a little bit right there. That'll be fine. So that pocket's done. Okay, now we're going to bring the pocket file in. And we're going to set it. We're going to put it right here. Okay, because I think the yellow goes with the yellow flowers. There's not too many of them. Here and there. Here. And there. And then the blue goes with the blue. And then this color goes with those. So it just brings everything together. But I need to wipe the glue off so it don't stick up there. And I think I'm just going to glue the bottom down so they can slide it in easily because there's a pocket there. So I'm just going to put glue on the bottom. There we go. Okay, beautiful beings. I have a word here. Wonderful day. Marker. I got her. She's hiking. And some flowers for the backdrop. And I'm just going to cut this. It's going to swerve in and out like this. That. Then I'm going to take marker and just go around the edges like this. Try to figure out what I want her. I'm glad I checked. Okay, we're going to glue her down first. that over put the sticker right there and there we go that one's done Okay, beautiful beings. I have this one, this little hole punch. I'm just gonna glue that right here. But I'm gonna do it before I do. I got these birds. I have no idea where this is from. But I'm gonna put this underneath his feet. So hopefully, this is a success. Putting this in the right spot. I didn't know if it could fit on it. Uh, you could put them over the flowers a little bit. Let's see if I can get his feet. Yep, that'll work. Here I was just basically rambling. I was trying to decide if I wanted to put a word on our circle punch pocket or sew it in. And it's already sewed, so I think I'm just going to glue it down, beautiful beings. And just leave it so in the future if they want to add a word, they can. this piece of paper I think it was 
wax paper maybe I don't know and I stamped this is a while ago I stamped enjoy the little things and little things in life and then I went around it with a green marker and I just want to put it on that tab just dip down there make sure it's straight and then I have a little coffee I went around it with a orange gel pen and then filled it in with yellow because it was just white and gray. And I'm just gonna put it right there. That's it. Simple. Okay, beautiful beings. I have stay sweet. Again, I just stamped it on a piece of I believe cardstock, a little thin cardstock, went around it with a blue marker. And I think I want to put it right there. Make sure it's straight. It just goes with the ice cream cone. I don't know if this is going to look good. I know it matches the red sprinkles on the ice cream cone. And this one, oh, that one matches the ice cream color. So let's go ahead and do that. These are both from Crafter Square. Okay, there's flower stickers. Get 11 in both of them. So let's do that and put them down and see what it looks like. Put them right there. And I'm finding the split in the flower to put on the corner. Right there. And then I have this one. And I'm going to put it in that corner. And I'm going to put Split right there on that corner. There we go. Simple. Hey, beautiful beings. On this one, this one's going to be really easy. Because all I'm doing is gluing these down from the bag. Remember, we did a popcorn bag summer. Well, it was, I don't know if it was a popcorn bag, but it was from Dollar Tree and it was a bag. <laughs> I had scrapped after we made pockets out of it. So I'm just going to glue these because you can't really see them because there's only parts of them. So I'm going to glue them all on top of them and make it look better. I'll let you look at that instead of my glue. Okay. And I'm replacing the orange with a lime because we have an orange at the bottom. Okay. Let's see. I could probably put that in more. There. Simple. So if you have a piece of scrap that's big enough for a pocket and it doesn't look right, but you have scraps from another piece of the same scrap. You can cut them out and add them to that pocket. Okay, beautiful beings. Handmade. I think these are from Dollar Tree. They're really old if they are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're from Dollar Tree. We should tell you on the back. But you get nine of them. And I'm using this one. And this one's going to be really... Simple. I'm just going to glue it to this pocket and then glue that pocket in. There's one spot I want to do another pocket, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm just going to glue that right there. Make sure it's straight. I'm going to take the glue. So, right along here. And for the new subscribers, I'm using Elena's glue. 
I always fail to mention that, but I'm sure you're brilliant and you figured it out. Okay, beautiful beings. <laughs> Okay, beautiful beings, I decided I'm going to do one more pocket and then you're done and then I'll give you all a close up, okay? I got a saying, push your boundaries. And we're going to glue that down. I'm going to put it right along the top. Make sure it's even. Hopefully, I'm going to put another dragonfly on. We did a dragonfly in a different pocket file in the last video. So I'm going to pick this one right here. From Dollar Tree. You get seven count pop-up dragonflies. Okay. I'm going to put him over here him or her, whatever the species is, <laughs> whatever the species is, and there you go, and then I'm going to put glue on the back of this, and it's just a flap off of a box. Okay, that's all that is. And there we go. And when everything is dry, I will give you a close-up of everything. And I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. The last of our four summer pocket files are done. Now we can move on to something else. Okay, tab, pocket, previous video. All these pockets are previous videos except for the ones you've seen me obviously make. Okay, I'm just leaving that plain. Let's tab off a box. And stenciling. Another pocket. With just a sticker and a piece of a doily that I colored purple. It was white and it's from the Dollar Tree. They come in different sizes. You can find them in a packet. Sewed around, sewed it on. Then push your boundaries. We just made that with our dragonfly. Stenciling behind it. Ice cream cone. Here's how it looks opened. And this is a die cut all I did and this came with a die cut life is a beautiful ride and all I did was glue it to a piece of cardstock went around it with the corner punches and then went around it with a pink marker and it's a nice big pocket and then our other pocket with our birdie bird This one, our fresh pocket we made together, cardstock. And I, I made one of these in a previous video, so it's pretty easy. Use up your scraps. And then I just sewed around it, glued it down, and then you see me put the butterfly on it. Then our sun. It's a pocket. Summer fun. Birdie birds. I don't know if you've seen that. Put birdie bird stencil down here and there. And then I had this left over as a scrap and I made a pocket out of it. And then I put a girl in a pool and a floaty. And then I just put a word. You can't see that good. This moment on there. And then left that so they could write on there. They can write on this too if they want. And 
and then they can write on this if they want to enjoy the little things and that's a shaker watermelon shaker it's a sticker and then I did ladybugs previous video and their ice cream cone and that's what it looks like opened and then this one we fixed because that pocket it was the scrap was big enough for a pocket I just sewed around it and I knew the pictures weren't good but I knew I could cut out some scraps that I had left over from that bag and just glue them down and make it look finished and then our orange pocket is an orange okay and I sold inside as you can see I sold this one down this way and the stitching is showing on this side adds a texture and the ice cream is from a plate I cut out from Dollar Tree our dragonflies in the background and then the fresh one sweet memories we just made and that was just that was also another scrap <laughs> it just ended up being that shape so I used it for a pocket and then I went around it with paint then I had a piece of that mesh left over. I just put it down for something to do so it'd be done with. And then I just put the sticker on top of it. Again, from a previous video, there's a pocket on the side here, and then a pocket here. Okay. And then a little tuck up here, our butterfly and our die cuts. It sounds like Kinsley's waking up from her nap. <laughs> and our big pocket we made from the front of the bag. It says it's summertime. That's what that looks like. Then a watermelon. And then a pocket on the bottom. Another piece of cardstock. Just sold around it, flowers, and dragonflies, and a watermelon from a napkin. And the orange is also that we made. Where's the orange? This orange is from a napkin, and this is from a napkin. They're both made from a napkin. I did a video on that, okay? And then, last but not least, this one, all I did, I, th I think I did, I didn't do this, I think I did on a video, I don't know. But all it is, is a piece of junk mail, okay? And I took it and I painted down, painted off-white down, and then I took a stencil and went over it. And then I stuck a butterfly on there, and that's a tuck too. So you have a tuck here, and then something thin can go in the butterfly, okay? And then this pocket we did another video and I just put like stencils just so there's something a little something behind it and you got three tucks plus the tuck so you actually got four and I put a little bird embellishment on it and then there's the butterflies I put down from stencils then a little tab it says enjoy the little things Another stencil behind the ice cream. And our hummingbird. And stay sweet with just two flowers. That was really simple. And this was also a scrap, so I just put paint around it. And made it a pocket. And then I did this. This is another video I did. Get these from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I just put some cardstock on them and cut them out and then I went around it with a marker gave it some two gems for eyes and a butterfly of course because they turn into butterflies the caterpillars do and then the pocket we just made wonderful day going for a hike okay beautiful beings hope you enjoyed the video and got some inspiration thanks for watching have a wonderful everything.